Good afternoon everybody. Today this is all about road lighting design. I have one amazing image here right now and uh, we will create a road lighting calculation for this um, carriageway, bike lane and pedestrian path. So first, before we go to our Dialux Evo or Dialux Regular, we need to first study and analyze what is road lighting and what would be the design for that if it has bike lane on the side. So you can see here now in our um, image that I have um, street light here and I have another one here which is for the um, this one for the bike lane and there is another one here that we need to consider which is for the pedestrian okay and based on this design how are we going to light this area with only one pole and uh, it must be covered everything like including the pedestrian the bike lane and the uh, parking bay and also the driveway or the road so right now what I'm planning to do is um, okay let's study first is this pedestrian enough for example to just use the um, spill light from the building here for example there will be buildings here and on the, on the other side maybe there will be houses here on this side so is it uh, good enough to light this pedestrian path using the spill light from um, these structures or do we need to create uh, do we need to put bollards here maybe here on this side and also on the other side just to light up the uh, pedestrian path or is it enough to have maybe up lighters here to highlight the trees and the spill light coming from the canopy of the trees will be enough to have um, pedestrian light so later on um, we will discuss on uh, um, this uh, lighting design using Dialux Evo if this um, if we can do a street lighting covering the whole area or up to here maybe even to the parking and also this one covering the bike lane or maybe spilling all over to the pedestrian area and to the landscape or can we just uh, rely on the spill lights coming from the houses or maybe from the commercial areas on the site to light up the pedestrian or like what I mentioned shall we produce a bollard to highlight this area or maybe uh, rely on the spill lights coming from the canopies using canopies of the trees using the up lighters to highlight the canopies of the trees so later on we will run a calculation first using the road lighting and the two-way bike lane and we should achieve the lax level requirements for these areas and so we will just assume that um, for example this uh, pole height is say eight meters high and this one is uh, let's imagine that this is five meters that is for the pedestrian and this bracket will be say this is 2.1 so let's make it 2.5 meters long bracket and similar to this one either 2.5 or just make it two meters long bracket so we will have 5 meters for the pedestrian and 8 meters for the street light. Okay, so 
let's do it and uh, we have to make sure that we will get a uh, lighting calculation for the carriageway for the bike lane and for the pedestrian all right okay so let's go now and do it in dialax evo <laughs> 